Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you tips and tricks about leopard geckos. Tip number one. Do not get a leopard gecko if you're scared of shedding, biting, or if you're scared of worms and crickets. And if you're scared of blood. Not mainly, if you take care of them. Because when their tail falls out, sometimes they don't, so don't blame yourself. Because sometimes they'll do it just because they're scared or they're trying to hunt. And if they accidentally fall off, don't worry. It'll grow back in about five months. Uh, gee, girl tail, her tail's growing and I lost it. She lost it in October and it's right now it's February 18th, 2019. She lost it in October 30th, 2018. So it's been... October, November, December, January, February. It's been five months, so it still needs a little bit to go. So if you're gonna get a leopard gecko, get it from a natural breeder. Cause I'm not sure what breeder I got it from, but I just got her, and she was like seventy dollars. I got her more expensively, and cause she's more, she's more like a babyish, and the cage with the filter. And the lighting and the stuff. I got it from the same shop for forty dollars about. And if you can see her tail looks a little skinny. And I'm not sure if you a fancy leopard gecko or a leopard gecko. Tip number two. Leopard geckos can be two types. So if you see for example your friend has a leopard gecko and you see them growing really fast and yours is not growing, maybe it's for three colors. Three things. One, it has a disease. Two, it's a fancy leopard gecko. Or three, it's just a slow grower. See, if you can see, guys. Also, if their fingers fall off, their fingers fall off, they also fall back. Tip number three. Keep your leopard gecko in a locked area. Because leopard geckos, when they're about... Two to three days old to start climbing up. They do have gecko feet and they are and they are really mischievous. Tip number four. Leopard geckos' tails are gonna be really gentle when they're growing. You will see the colors are it'll be a little ugly, but you have to get used to it. Tip number five. Name your leopard gecko a usual, like a usual one. Like I name Ew! Liz. I name my Liz. And she just bit me, and I'm like, what the hell? Ow, oh, she's gonna bit me. She's gonna bit me. I'm gonna put this cute little race on her. Tip number. We're only gonna have seven tips, because it's gonna be really hard. It's okay. Hold her. Tip number four. Leopard geckos can bite if you hold them for a too long time and they don't are not used to you. Mine bit me because she's hungry and I haven't fed her today. Tip number six. Leopard geckos have these shiny eyes when they're trying to hunt. They go like And if your leopard gecko takes a long time to hunt, either they're slow, they are either slow, they're either slow, bad at hunting, or not, not showed to hunt by the parents, or just took in by the family at about age, about unsure about age. I have this cute guac right here. And tip number seven, last but not least. Little geckos love water. They love bathing in water, so you make sure you have a water bottle right next to them every single day. And they fill it up every single day. They love bathing in it. So here I'm gonna show you its cage. It has her heater. Um, they're there, and it's right next to my office. And there's a little stick. There is his wa her water. There is her worms. I haven't fed her crickets this week lately. And for feeding the worms, I do use these pliers. I have a few pairs of them. So I'm different, but I use it once over perfectly. Because she will bite my finger. 
Oh, look, there's an albino worm. This is a worm. See, depends on their size. If they're one month old, they're like baby worms. Older than that, like medium ones. And if they're like about one to two years old. So, leopard geckos are really cute. Depending on your, how you like them. So, make sure you get a leopard gecko that inspires you. Or get a pet that inspires you. And also, have fun with leopard geckos. See you next time. Bye, guys.